Hey everyone. So in this video I want to say how to stop an argument in its tracks. And some people might know this but it's pretty simple but maybe difficult. But the simplistic reality of it is basically stop talking or walk, go, walk away or go away. So usually people try to be right and enforce their opinion or their righteousness or their side of the argument or their perspective on to another person. And when both people do this, you know, conflict happens, of course. So you don't want to rationalize with someone who's emotional. That's the mental versus the emotional it never wins. So don't try and justify or explain or rationalize or defend. If someone's kind of too emotional or unconscious. It does, if they're too emotional, just, it's, it's time to slow down the, the talking, big time. Slow down a lot. Okay. Number two, try to be sweet, if possible, by empathizing and putting yourself in the other person's shoes and having compassion and care for their emotional distress. And then three, if you feel like it, then just quit pretty quickly after the sweetness, the little nice gesture or whatever else it is and you know say you don't want to fight or argue. Um, I don't mean like if two people are happy to have a, a discussion and some people call that an argument like arguing a perspective that's okay if people are happy sharing it's a happy argument if you want to use if some people use that word argument that's okay you know people are happy but um, if, if it's not if it's a typical type of like you know unhappy stressful upsetting argument and people are too emotional and going crazy and becoming more unconscious then it's better to take a break to slow down to quit stop trying to be right stop trying to force or change the other person and just take a break if it's super important you can talk again later or another day but often people will come to their senses when they allow a break to de-stress. So that's how you stop an argument in its tracks. Um, and what's so important in all of this is your peace of mind, your peace, and your energy, your vibration, your peace of mind, to stay conscious. And when we become unconscious, either by by being triggered or else by allowing another person who's unconscious to make us unconscious gradually. Everyone loses because unconscious people like Eckhart Tolle say, says they become troublemakers and they cause our other people to be hurt and distressed and unconscious too. So better to walk away while you're still conscious instead of going down a slippery hole of choosing to stay in a discussion or argument with either someone who's unconscious or else someone who's already totally conscious but you just find yourself slipping and becoming too emotional you can share that self-protection protect and love the other person too look out for yourself and each other so I hope that helped everyone send all the highest love wishes in the world <laughs> hope you're well today and if you feel like any like life coaching, spiritual life coaching or health coaching or relationship or communication coaching with me, have a look at my link below, as well as my Higher Self Herbs shop and owenfox.org. And thanks to everyone for your love and support. Best wishes and hugs and hugs. Have a lovely day and wait week and month. See you next video. Thanks for sharing, subscribing and liking and everything that you do. Keep being yourself. See ya.